testing. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Linda Medley. I am the proud principal of Flower Bluff High School. I would like to welcome you this evening to the commencement ceremony for the Flower Bluff High School graduating class of 2022. We are so grateful that you all have joined us on this special occasion. At this time, I'd like to ask that you please turn off or silence all cell phones. I'm also gonna ask that you please remain seated as our class of 2022 graduates enter the arena and our pomp and circumstance will be played by our amazing Flower of Love High School Band.
ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of colors and remain standing for the national anthem and the invocation. The colors are being presented by Flower Bluff High School NJROTC Cadet, Lieutenant Commanders Jacob Cisneros, Ishmael Granados, Loretto Tobias, Jr., and Cadet Lieutenant Alan Ramirez, Jr. The national anthem will be sung by Caitlin Edwards and Emery Trimlett. Thank you. Please remain standing for the invocation. Today's invocation will be led by Marin Cox. Before I lead you in prayer, please join me in a moment of silence as we honor the lives of the educators, students, and community of Uvalde, Texas. Please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we begin tonight's celebration of our accomplishments, we ask you to place your blessings upon us during this significant time in our lives, our high school graduation. We are grateful for those who have helped us reach this point in our lives, our friends and family, especially our parents, who have supported and encouraged us for these past 18 years. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with amazing leaders, our teachers and our principal who dedicate their time to helping us attain this success. The diplomas that we are soon to receive will signify the end of one journey, but will also mark a gateway to a new one, which is possible because of you. 
We thank you for promising us a prosperous future. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 states, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Tonight I pray for each and every one of my classmates and our future endeavors. I ask that you allow this evening to bring us all a memory like no other, one that we will take with us well into our blessed future. All of this we, pr we pray in the name of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce our Board of Trustees. Without their countless hours of dedication to our students and staff, this evening would not be possible. I ask that each of you please stand, be recognized, and remain standing until all members of your group have been introduced. Mrs. Shirley Thornton, President. <laughs> Mr. Michael Morgan, Vice President. Mrs. Jennifer Welp, Secretary. Mr. Jerry Hooper, Member. Dr. Jim Needham, Member. Mrs. Nicole Peters, Member. Mrs. Nicole Dowd, Member. Thank you. You may be seated. I'd also like to recognize our Flower Bluff ISD administrative staff. They work so hard behind the scenes to make sure that we have all of the opportunities that we have here today. Mrs. Velma Salise Garcia, Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Mr. James Crenshaw, Deputy Superintendent. Dr. Linda Barganski, Associate Superintendent of Student Services. <laughs> Ludivina Cancino, Chief Financial Officer. <laughs> Nicole White, Executive Director of Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Mr. Edgar Van Geem, Director of Special Education. Ms. Melanie Shandy, Assistant Director of Special Education. <laughs> Kristen Biley, Chief Communication Officer. <laughs> Mrs. Cindy Holder, Director of our Hornet Learning Academy. I see her here today. <laughs> Mrs. Tina Jones, Directory, Director, I'm sorry, of the University Prep High School Program. and Ms. Molly Parker, Curriculum Supervisor. <laughs> I also want to take a moment to ask that if we have any Flower Bluff ISD faculty and staff that are joining us here today, if you can please take a stand. Our graduates are graduating from the high school, but a lot of these guys have started with us since the Early Childhood Center and pre-K. And so it's because of all of our staff that our graduates have received an unparalleled education. We thank you for your countless hours of devotion and hard work. On behalf of Flower Bluff ISD, it's extremely important and appropriate for us to recognize the gift of freedom that we have in this country so generously provided by our men and our women in military. Seniors who have enlisted in the military, can you please take a stand? <laughs> also, any persons in the audience who have served or they're currently serving our community in our country, please take a stand.
from the bottom of our hearts, we just want to say thank you so much for the sacrifices that not only you, but your families are making to ensure the freedoms that we have we can enjoy today. I'd, like, I'd now like to introduce Kyle Shigoda and Ian Shuck. No, dude, my dad could totally beat up your dad. Dude, my dad's like the Godzilla to your King Kong. Actually, in the 1962 movie, King Kong beats up Godzilla. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You're telling me a monkey beats a fire-breathing <laughs> lizard? Whatever. Whatever, dude. We gotta give this speech. We gotta graduate these fools. Anyways, they say one in three people peak in high school. And Ian, who's they? Do you have a source on that? I mean, I, mean, I made I it don't up. I care. Kyle, you always do this. Why are we always arguing like an old married couple? Oh, so now I'm old. Anyway, one in three people peak in high school. And I'm not going to peak in high school. I'm not going to peak in high school. Uh, awkward. Because <laughs> y'all are going to peak. Welcome. Hello. Hi, everybody. How's it going? How are we feeling? Can I get a hello from the crowd? Woo! What was that? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Woo! Good evening to you all. Before we start, I'd like to give a special thank you to our teachers, our staff, Miss Medley, our administrators, and you for making this high school journey what it was, regardless of the adversities we faced along the way. And in our time here, we've dealt with adversity firsthand. COVID, online schooling, the ascendance of Crenshaw to the administration building. Prayers out. Prayers out. But still, we thrive, because that's what hornets do. We thrive together. There's no you in Flower Bluff. Oh, wait, there is. And that means this, this is all for you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. But don't get too excited. There's no prizes under your seats, and I'm not addicted to bread. And also, there's an hour in Flower Bluffs, and the world is our oyster. So be careful if you have a shellfish allergy. Um, that sounded a lot better in my head. Anywho, seriously, guys, we're so excited to be here, and I hope you're excited, too. My mama always says to cut the fat, and your mom should probably tell you that, too, Kyle. We're just going to skip the boring middle of this introduction and move on to the part you've all been waiting for, the beginning of the end. Perchance. Sometimes the best thing to do is stop trying to figure out where you're going and just fit, enjoy where you're at. And uh, before we kick this shindig off, I want to leave you all with some words by Jim Morrison to ruminate with. The most important kind of freedom is to be what you really are. So, so welcome, welcome and, and enjoy, enjoy the show. show. Before we continue, I'd like to invite uh, Mrs. Solis Garcia, Superintendent of Schools, to the podium. Before we continue, I'd like to invite Mrs. Solis Garcia, Superintendent of Schools, to the podium to address our graduating class of 2022. Good evening, esteemed Flower Bluff High School class of 2022 graduates, parents, guardians, faculty, staff, and members of our Board of Trustees. This past school year, we were so blessed to be together the entire academic year. But this class of students in front of us is truly special. This graduating class of Hornets truly exemplified the meaning of leadership and service. You were able to attend classes as freshmen during the 2018-19 school year and then we all know of the disruptions to our traditional educational system that we experienced during your sophomore year. It wasn't until August of 2021 that we were excited and possibly a little apprehensive to start the school year face to face and with the least number of interruptions due to COVID-19. The first semester had its challenges because it took some time for many to adjust to the new normal we were experiencing. That is when we turned to you and we asked that you assist us in sharing with the underclassmen what it truly meant to be a Hornet Scholar at Flower Bluff High School. You see, this class of 2022 had a full year in 2018-19 while other stu students, current freshmen, 
sophomores and juniors, they were not as fortunate. You knew what it meant to be a Hornet. You had had a full year under your belt and had some experiences as a high school Hornet that instilled and sealed the philosophy of class, pride, and heart in you. A philosophy that was first introduced in our district by, Bob, by Coach Bobby Jones, Coach Daryl Andrus, and Coach Chris Steinbrook in 2004. That philosophy runs deep in our district and our educators throughout the organization are familiar with that philosophy. Another reason that we are so blessed is that we have one mascot, the Hornet, and it runs throughout our district. It matters not whether you become a Hornet when you were five years old in kindergarten or 12 years old at the intermediate campus. You became a Hornet when you walked the halls of any one of our schools. As superintendent, last year I formed the Superintendent's Ambassador Leadership Council at the junior high and the high school, and many of you do serve on that committee. This year, Mrs. Medley formed her leadership team at the high school. Mrs. Medley and her team also held several meetings with the senior class and asked that you help bridge the Hornet culture to all students. We witnessed you leading and setting examples of service in our community and breaking records that future Hornets will find challenging to meet or exceed in years to come. We watched you in the classrooms, the field, and the courts mentoring young Hornets. Many times you let the light shine on the younger Hornets as you stood beside them and patted them on the back congratulating them or encouraging them to continue. That is true leadership. I ask that you continue to carry those attributes of leadership as you go out into the next chapter of your lives. Continue to empower, inspire, and foster the people you encounter in your lives. Encourage one another, care for one another as you have while you were here with us. You have a tremendous community of caring and loving educators that have empowered, inspired, and fostered you all these years. They will continue to be here rooting you on and expecting you to accomplish great things in life. You also have the support of family members and friends that are here with you this evening and have been supporting you through your lifetime. In addition, tonight you become Flower Bluff alumni and members of a very, a very tight-knit community. Members of that community will tell you, once a hornet, always a hornet. Stay connected to these communities that have encouraged you and love you. We are extremely proud of you. You have accomplished so much while you have attended our schools. There are so many opportunities waiting for you. Claim those opportunities and conquer them. These past two weeks, I had the honor and privilege to attend many award ceremonies. There was one that truly left an impression on my heart. I stood on the stage at the auditorium and shook hands with kindergarten students. One student wore a t-shirt with the words, class of 2034. It was at that moment that I realized that this week I would be blessed with the opportunity to shake hands and congratulate Hornets from the graduating class of 2022 and the future class of 2034. As the ceremony continued that morning, I wondered if you remembered your kindergarten ceremony. I tried to imagine you at that age. They were so excited and happy. The same excitement that I witnessed during your senior walk yesterday and again this evening. Those little hornets had a message for their parents that day that I felt would be appropriate to share with you tonight. I hope that you will enjoy. 
Congratulations, class of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce Kritika Adhikari. <laughs> I'd like to present her with a plaque honoring her as the class of 2022 Flower Bluff High School salutatorian. Would the parents of Kritika Adhikari please stand and be recognized? <laughs> we appreciate the support that not only you, but all of the parents have provided their students. What is up, everyone? To those of you at school who do not know me, hello, my name is Kritika, and it is so nice to meet you. We have all been awaiting this momentous occasion, and many of us would not be here without the support from our teachers, faculty, and many other influences in our lives. Today is a day to be thankful, and today we gather to honor the Flower Bluff class of 2022. Now, I know that you guys did not come here today to think, but I would like to share a number with you all. According to Google, the probability of just one person's existence is one in 10 to the power of 268,500. For those of you refusing to think, just picture a lot of zeros. The reason I am sharing this is not so I can begin with the typical profound graduation speech cliche, but to remind everyone that the mere fact of our existence is incredibly rare. I mean, we've even existed in the same timeline as One Direction. So imagine how much rarer it is that we are all here together celebrating our transition into adulthood. We've survived a lot. A deadly global pandemic, Hurricane Harvey, Tide Pod poisoning, Staple Street traffic at 5 p.m. At this point, we can survive anything. 
Whether our family members are Flower Bluff alumni, whether we have been here since the early childhood center, or whether we found out that one of our parents got a job and we were dragged here against our will, we have made it here today. Every single one of us comes from our own walk of life and have faced individual experiences that have all culminated into this moment. I know I was incredibly fortunate when my parents made the journey from Nepal to the land of the free, a city one might call the epitome of the American dream, Laramie, Wyoming. I'm sure you can imagine my excitement when I relocated from the mountainous region of up to negative 38 degree weather to the warm tropical Corpus Christi. <laughs> I've been at Flower Bluff since fourth grade, which has given me plenty of time to become acquainted with this school and all of my classmates. I stand here today because I rank second in my class, and as this year's salutatorian, I want us to take a moment to value all of the seconds in our lives. The seconds you are counting down, for all the speeches to end so you can finally see your child walk across the stage, the five seconds that each graduate will be, be up on stage, and last but not least, the seconds you'll be counting down to go home and relish in your success as a parent or guardian. If you haven't gotten the idea yet, seconds matter too. Although we have certainly spent the past year getting back in the groove of things, we made the transition to our first in-person school year seem pretty effortless. That was after we got used to not being able to sleep through our online classes. Many of us were ecstatic to hear that we would have a chance to host our homecoming, pep rallies, sports games, prom, and most importantly, our high school graduation. As mentioned before, <laughs> throughout these four years, we have persevered through the outbreak of COVID-19, storms and hurricanes, and the most recent Flower Bluff pajama pants epidemic that has rampaged the hallways. We have even made it through the awkward moments, like when the teacher hands back your test face down so the class just knows that you failed or when you walk through the halls and see yet another couple who just love to take their sweet time getting to class. Fortunately, these obstacles have only made our class more resilient, to say the least. If there is anything I have learned within the past four years at Flower Bluff, it's that the class of 2022 does not give up. Whether it's athletics, academics, UIL, extracurriculars, or whatever the challenge, we have conquered we came together to go wild as sophomores to destroy the upperclassmen for the spirit stick during pep rallies. We put that energy on hold when our school shut down for two years, yet our class emerged powered and eager to take on our senior year. I know that the energy that motivated our competitive spirits will continue to drive our success. Now, I know as your salutatorian, I'm supposed to come up here and say some words of advice, but unfortunately, I don't think I've had enough life experience However, it would be wrong for me to give a graduation speech without including at least one cliche. So fellow graduates, let's go on and fulfill our dreams. Know that this is not the end, simply the beginning. Live, laugh, love. And most importantly, Godzilla always comes back. Before I end this speech, I would like to shout out my parents who are here with me today and made this possible the people who sacrificed living 8,547 miles away from home so my sister and I could have the education that we deserve. To them, I could not be more grateful. So, in Nepali, Donyabad, Mamu, Baba, Ama, and Sopedana Nepal, Bodeako. To end this on a high note, I'd like to wrap up with a piece, piece of advice from singer and philosopher, Nicki Minaj. Work hard, it pays off. Class of 2022, we're finally here. I know everyone's dying to hear more of me speak, but unfortunately, I cannot be here all day. So thank you, everyone. Kritika out. Thank you, Kritika. It is now our privilege this evening to introduce Andrea Montenegro Polanco, the valedictorian of Flower Bluff High School class. I would like to present you this plaque honoring you as our valedictorian. In addition, I'd like to present a scholarship certificate entitling you to free tuition for one year at any Texas public college or university.
Would the parents of Andrea Montenegro Polanco please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Medley, for that introduction. And good evening, graduates, family, friends, and staff. I am Andrea Montenegro Polanco, the Flower Bluff Class of 2022 valedictorian. Now, when I was six years old, my mom told me we were leaving our home country of Venezuela and moving to the United States. Though it was scary leaving everything I had ever known for a country where I didn't even speak the language, I was excited, mainly because I knew Disney World was here. <laughs> I imagined myself riding Splash Mountain every single weekend. Can you imagine my crushing disappointment when I realized Disney World was not in Texas? Though in this respect, I was let down my life here has exceeded expectations I never imagined. Trading Splash Mountain for Padre Island, Mickey-shaped pretzels for tacos from the taco stand, and, sm <laughs> and smooth rides on Tomorrowland's Viewliner for pothole-ridden journeys on Ocean Drive. Don't you just love Corpus Christi? My immigration experience is not too different from our journey through high school. As incoming freshmen, we all hoped the next four years would be like our favorite shows and movies. Mean Girls, Clueless, High School Musical, Radio Rebel, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Who here feels personally victimized by Regina George? Still, things certainly didn't play out the way we hoped. Instead of sweet high school romance, we watched underclassmen get detention for their displays of PDA in the 1000 Hall. Instead of following in Ferris Bueller's footsteps and taking just one day off of school, we took a year and a half long spring break. Good one, guys. And instead of crying dramatically in our school bathrooms, we cried literally anywhere else. I mean, like we had a choice. Half of the bathrooms were closed down. Good thing boys don't cry. In spite of straying from the ideal high school experience we all envisioned, we made the most of what we had. Freshman year, we awkwardly attended our first homecoming dance in the Hornet Ballroom, which also happens to be our cafeteria, always pockmarked by the lingering stench of boiled broccoli. Yum. We also naively searched for the famed 900 hallway and the elevator seniors were always talking about. They don't exist. Sophomore year, we embarrassed the upperclassmen by crushing them during pep rallies. There was also the tiny plastic baby scattered around the school and the sound of hydroflask hitting the ground reverberating through the halls. Most of junior year was spent sleeping and making whipped coffee at home, which certainly didn't help our AP or final exam passing rates. Sorry, teachers, it was a rough year for all of us. But the pep rally we had at the end of the year was a lot of fun, and it gave us hope that we would all have a normal senior year. And we did. We made up for lost time quickly, planning a senior sunrise right before the first day and picked up where we left off, dominating every pep rally and packing the stands at every football game. Yeah. Speaking of football, let's not forget that the team made history this year, making it to the state semifinals. Yeah. All students were better informed with our new and improved announcements where Tyler Bills never failed to remind us that it's game day. And across the entire school, posters lined the halls. My personal favorites being, don't be a, be a heroin, don't do heroin, don't shake your baby, and the hilariously misspelled, go Hornets. Let's not forget us coming together to discuss how to improve our school with the one-armed inspirational speaker who wouldn't stop asking, where's my hug? Our gardens were cleaned up, a peace ball was installed, our cafeteria food made the news, the challenge team won the KEDT challenge trophy, ROTC made it to state, we had a talent show, and that one guitar guy that plays in front of all of our important school events reemerged. Yeah. In short, we had an incredible year. And not to toot our own horn, but that's because of us, the class of 2022, the most attractive, yeah, most talented, yeah, most hilarious class in Flower Bluff history. 
As we venture off to bigger and greater things, I hope we can all continue to dream big, that we have plans for the future, and that we know that though things may not always go as planned, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. I mean, if we manage to have this much fun and graduate in the midst of a pandemic, power outages, fires, extreme weather, and our host of other potholes along the road, we'll be just fine in the adult world. As comedian Conan O'Brien says, it is our failure to become our perceived ideal that ultimately defines us and makes us unique. It's not easy, but if you accept your misfortune and handle it right, your perceived failure can be a catalyst for profound reinvention. Better yet, as Mr. Worldwide says, been there, done that. Class of 2022, though we may not end up at Disney World, all of our dreams can still come true. Thank you. I just have a couple of quick thank yous. I would like to honor some groups and individuals that helped me get on the stage tonight. Thank you to all Flower Bluff ISD teachers, administrators, and staff. Thank you, Interact Club, Yearbook, Honor Societies, the Buck Jays Port of Corpus Christi Leadership Program, the Driscoll Children's Hospital Volunteer Program, and Chick-fil-A Saratoga for keeping me really busy this year. And thank you to my friends and family, the Montenegros, Polancos, and Garretts for being there to support me every step of the way. Gracias especialmente a mi familia en Venezuela. Madrina Amledi, Tio Ali, Maria Fernanda, y Fernando. Abuela Mema y Abuelo Ali, gracias por siempre creer en mí y por enseñarme que la educación es la clave para el éxito. Gracias Andrés por los abrazos y finalmente gracias mami por todo el apoyo, la dedicación, los sacrificios y amor que me brindaste para poder alcanzar mis metas. Gloria al bravo pueblo and go Hornets. Thank you, Andrea. And now an anthem will be performed by our Flower Bluff High School Choir.
That was an outstanding job by our choir. The senior class of 2022 has accomplished many goals this year. We're fortunate that we have a student body that works hard in extracurricular activities while achieving academic success. This year's graduating seniors have been awarded a total of $1,751,260 in scholarships. You guys should be proud. I'm going to ask that our superintendent, Mrs. Solis Garcia, join me. I'd like to now present the members of the senior class of 2022. As principal of Flower Bluff High School, I certify that these students have met all the requirements necessary to receive a high school diploma. Members of the Board of Trustees, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to certify the forthcoming students have completed the appropriate requirements as mandated by the Texas Education Agency and by policies of the Flower Bluff Independent School District. The senior class of 2022 is ready to receive their diplomas. I will now ask Molly Parker, High School Curriculum Supervisor, to begin the awarding of diplomas. Please show respect for each student as he or she walks across the stage to help maintain the dignity of this great event. Thank you. We will now announce students who have earned academic distinction. In order to be recognized as a graduate with academic distinction, the student must have an overall grade point average of 90 or above and be on the advanced graduation plan. This year, we have 157 students who have met this criteria. We will recognize the graduating class of 2022, beginning with our top 10 seniors in rank of order. Andrea Montenegro Polanco. Pratika Adhikari. <laughs> Daniel Santos. <laughs> Felix Puentes III. Kylie Hutchinson. <laughs> Kyle Shigoda. <laughs> Catherine Cutberth. Aaron Cox. <laughs> Ian Shutt. <laughs> Kaylee Doble.
Ms. Tina Jones and Ms. Pam Pels will continue with the reading of seniors who are graduating with the academic distinction. Cameron Thomas Ainsworth. Yeah. Landon Javier Alanis. Yeah. Natalie Nicole Albrecht. Yeah. Kyla Nicole Athey. Ahmad Jacob Aziz. Ashton Jeremiah Baker. Faith Neve Banda. Lauren Nicole Barnett. Kobe Edward Barrera, Caden Rael Batchen, Kenna Lane Benham, Madison Retha Benningfield. Isabella Francis Maria Bertero. Mariah Nicole Boberg. Victoria Elena Bowles. Cameron Alexis Bowman. Abram Warren Boxwell. Gregory Andres Boxwell. Cody Lee Bradford. Orion Reese Britt. McKenna Riley Bumstead. Alexis Marie Cantu. Kyra Lee Carranza. Quinn Kiara Casper. Sevilla Princesa Chapman. Robert Elder Clark. Van Wilson Cooper. McKenna Ruby Cordell. Genevieve Estelle Cowan. Yeah. Isabella Ann Cowan. Yeah. Xavier Alexander Kristen. Yeah. Allison Caitlin Culverhouse. Charles Andrew Cutberth. Allison Nicole Davis.
Taylor Joe Davis. Jordan McKenna De Los Santos. Giovanni Enrique Dugood. Cade Murphy Dowd. Yes. Carly Beth Elam. Benjamin Devin Escamilla. Michael Lucas Ewing. Robert Aaron Drake, Five Coat. Isabel Marie Flores. Rayana Jalen Flores. Alyssa Marie Forbes. Lauren Ann Fuller. Tanner Glenn Galbraith. Enrique Emmanuel Garza. Haley Rebecca Garza. Alfredo Lozada Herona. Catherine Elizabeth Guerin. Yasmin Kamal Ghanem. September Paige Gibson. Julia Elizabeth Gilliam. Connor Lee Golke. Marcus Andrew Gonzalez. Brenna Renee Gordon. Cecily Gwyneth Graves. Caroline Jewel Halliburton. Gabriel Ian Curl Hathaway. Carlos Virgilio Jose Hernandez. Sierra Marie Holstein. Reese Austin Howe. <clears throat> Grayson Davis Hubbard. Elizabeth Elise Hudson. Chase James Hunter. <clears throat> Lynette Teresa Camp. Benjamin Marshall King. <laughs> Kylie Marie LeBlanc. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth LeClear. <laughs> Daniel Owen Lindstrom. <laughs> Jesse Long. Alexandria Jolie Lopez. Darian McKenzie Mansfield. Nathaniel Scott Chamber Marley. Marcos Antonio Marroquin. Tamia Nicole Market Martin 
Nicholas Troy Martinez. Samantha Bianca Martinez. Ava Marie Maslick. Lane Wade Massey. Isabella Mayor Quinones. Madison Lynn McGrath. Leah Christine Messer. Olivia Eileen Mitchell. Sophia Bell Morris. Justin Philip Nuesca Nillo. Catherine Rebecca Norman. Yasmin Gabriela Nunez. Sharifamo Amrichudo Yevna Odimama Dova. Caitlin Ordonez. Nathan Riley Pacheco. Robbie Palm. Cameron Alex Pape. Vishal Rakesh Patel. Alyssa Nicole Peck. Xavier Alonzo Pond. Maxim Alexievich Prokhorov. Christiane Muniro Coleman Puno. Paloma. Ethan Michael Ramirez. Sean Michael Tyler Ramsey. Jude Lynn Ray. Angelina Samantha Reyes. Kylie L. Rifus. Christina Dawn Riojas. Alexis Marie Rios. Alec Christian Robertson. Melody Rain Robertson. Madeline Nicole Robinson. Samantha Carly Robinson. Isabella Florence Rogoff. Daniel Richard Rose. Jacob Walter Rose. Ileana Renee Ruiz. Lauren Juliana Russell. 
Ángel Asiel Salgado Vázquez. Sydney Ann Salinas. Regina Danae Scott. Faith Michelle Senny. Edward James Shannon. Anastasia Marie Smith. Emma Kate Staffer. Mia Josephine Sudell. Kaya Lynette Shigarik. Seth Marshall Schulsch. Solsch. Caleb Jared Teague. Kayla Nicole Tabola. Jolice Marie Torres Oyola. Dylan Robert Trial. Cole Thomas Tucker. Grace Madeline Vagadis. Isaac Allen Vasconcelos. Jorge Daniel Velez. Sebastian Antonio Verdeen. Cassandra Arissa Villarreal. Nash Hagar Viegas. Logan Matthew Waggy. Megan Elaine White. Amale Sitara Witt. Kylie Moon Whitus. Dominique Olivia Wifro Ibrahim. Trinity Nicole Worthen. Samantha Joe Wright. Pearson Orion Ibarra. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the 2022 graduates with academic distinction. Please join me in congratulating them for their accomplishments. <laughs> Honor graduates, please be seated. Y'all can sit. We will now continue with our presentation of the class of 2022. These names will be read by Ms. Michelle Finley, Mr. John Gain, Mrs. Jennifer Shigoda, and Mr. Robert Stegall. Christina Adamas.
Samantha Daniela Aguilar Calderon. Maurice Rue Alcorn, Jr. Robert Lee Anderson, III. Jeselyn Ann Arevalo. Ava Victoria Aston. Sunny Marie Ayala. Evaniki Cherub Bailey. Amaya Liberty Baker. Peyton Alexandra Bocklick. Lauren Janelle Balbin. Jacob Jeremiah Baldera. Jonah Roland Gloss Baldera. Ariana Denise Ballou. Alberto Banda Jr. Frank Banda. Philip Edward Beck III. Jaden Deshawn Bean. Christopher Andrew Bernal. Jasmine Renee Bernal. Kira June Biggie. Quentin James Boatwright. Ryan McKenzie Bosarge. Hunter Ernest Buttram. Kyle Xavier Kalkusik. Elijah James Cantu. Jared Lee Carrillo. Jacob Ryan Kastner Pena. Shamarica Nochelle Chattered. Caitlin Nicole Christensen. Noah Royce Christensen. Helene Grace Clinkscales. Seth Lee Cole. Hayden Dean Connolly. Ashton William Crawford. Jessica Cruz. John Anthony Cruz, Jr.
Kennedy Elginia Curtis. Keith Dio Cutler. Alexander Francisco Dalton. Krishan Brianna Darden. Laura Ashley Darden. Abigail Haley Dawes. Alyssa Nicole De La Garza. Samuel De La Garza. Dante Xavier De Leon. Johnny Abbott Dixon III. Sonny James Eccles. Caitlin Nicole Edwards. Maya Renee Edwards. Jackson David Allen. Felipe Estrada the third. Corinne Ray Farah. David Matias Farias, Jr. Kaylee Nicole Faust. Madeline Larissa Fernbach. Rachel Alexandra Fitzsimmons. Melanie Mackenzie Fletcher. Brendan Joshua Fly. Caitlin Lee Fly. Juan Rodrigo Galvez. Caitlin Janelle Garcia. Jason Vidari Garza. Delaney Gatton. Christopher Michael Geiswhite. Christian Ray Glover. Samuel Robert Godsey. Adam Michael Gonzalez Mundell. Shannon Griffin. Gabriel Anthony Guitard. Gunner Jean Hale. Faith Marie Harland.
James Maurice Harmon IV. Jaden Cole Harper. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Alexandra Ishmael Harris. Elizabeth Marie Harris. Benjamin Nathaniel Hoffler. Emma Jewel Henson. <laughs> Stephen Yabani Hernandez. Jonathan Patrick Heron. Michaela Madison Hilborn. <laughs> Elissa Jane Hill. Jaden Lee Hinson Brown. Bendik Yellen. Aiden Kenneth Ho. Alana Jane Ibanez. Micah Alejandro Jaimes. Alexis Rain Jones. Andrew Lee Jones. Brandon Ray Kapavik. Alisa Amina Maria King. Corbin Koichi Kaiser. Christian Alejandro Laura. Oh, yeah. Justin Thomas Lemieux. <laughs> Taylor James Lively. <laughs> Amanda Alexis Yanez. Jessica Natalie Lobato. Corey Paul Lopez. <laughs> Jordan Jared Lopez. Penelope Juliana Lopez. <laughs> Mina Lee Louise. <laughs> Jesusita Esperanza Maldonado. Dory Alyssa Mancha. Oh, 
Caitlin Elaine Marchin. Alia Martinez. Ready? <laughs> Adam Michael Martinez. Caden Anthony Martinez. Jesse Paul Jordan Martinez. Carly K. McCreary. Isaac Krishan McElroy. Ryan Trey James McMinn. Sunny Austin Masawi. Maisie Liana Molina. <laughs> Alyssa Christina Moreno. Diego Pascual Moreno. Jason David Nahar. John Robert Navarra Jr. Briar John Nelson. Joshua Matthew Napodi. Francisco Sebastian Ortiz. Kaylin Monet Osborne. Lucas Albert Owen. Mia, Margaret, Pear. Isabella, Elise, Palacios. Isadora, Marie, Pierce. Jada, Navea, Benya. Jaden Nicholas Benya. Ethan Cole Bettis. Anise Lenise Bettis Bettis. Bailey Joe Phillips. Daniel Ryan Pina. <laughs> Ashley Michelle Prado Hernandez. Esteban Tyler Quimbar. Jacob Dylan Ramirez. Jordan Isaiah Ramos. Elida Elaine Rangel. Blake William Reedy. Emogen Carey Reddy. Giovanni Zachariah Reyes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Connor Joseph Reynolds. Joaquin Rincon Jr. Carlos Riojas III. Dallas Hunter Ritchie. Juan Jesus Riso Jr. William Aiden Roberts. Elijah Javon Robinson. Antonio Diego Rodriguez III. Caleb Richard Rodriguez. Camille Elizabeth Rodriguez. Marcus Anthony Rodriguez, Jr. Matthew Brody Rodriguez. Zoe Ann Russell. Jericho D'Angelo Salazar. Angelica Esmeralda Salinas. Megan Nicole Santos. Arlie Denise Sauceda. Carlos Montes Layden the second. Ty Bailey Slocum. Charlotte Rose Smalls. Joe Daniel Solis Jr. Junior Antonio Sotelo. Ashton David Soto. Aon Enrique Stomer. Layla Antoinette Stomer. Kara Madison Swales. Mark Clifton Templeton, Jr. Carly Reese Tetzloff. Juan Carlos Torres. Emery Elizabeth Trimlett. Kaylee Nicole Turner. Kiana Ray Turner. Siana Nicole Hurtado. Sebastian Jose Vasio. Callie May Van Tilburg. Gabriel Isaac Varela. Yay! 
Serenity Nicole Viafana. Austin Michael Wade. Rowan Graywood Wrangler. Aaron James Warren. Slade Colin Weir. Erica Leigh Welch. Chase Riley Welp. Ashton Lee Whitaker. Wenceslau Joseph Williams. <laughs> Nyla Marie Wilson. <laughs> Callie Ray Layla Wong. Kaylee Raylan Work. <laughs> Curtis Trey Worthen. Samuel Joseph Ibanez. Talon Kyle Younger. Genesis Iran Zamaripa. Alfredo Abran Rome the Fourth. Mary Cecilia Romans. Caleb Owen Vaughn. Will the following summer grad please stand and be recognized? Miguel Garcia. I will now ask our school board president, Shirley Thornton, to give the congratulatory address to our class of 2022 seniors. Well, here you are. The day has finally come when people who love and care about you expect an answer to this question. What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, in kindergarten, you knew the answer, and you had the outfit for it. Now that you're about to be launched into life, most of you have changed that answer, unless, of course, one of you really is Batman. Like the thousands of hornets who came before you in the last 130 years, most of you will head off to college or trade school, enter the workforce, or get married and start families. A few of you brave souls will find yourselves sounding off at boot camp for one of the armed forces. We thank you for choosing to defend this great country, its constitution, and its people. We must never forget the sacrifices made by those who protect our precious freedoms and defend what old glory represents. I know you're anxious to leave this place and get started on what comes next, but before you pack those bags and set out on life's racetrack, let's go on a little trip together, one that takes you far into the future to a time when you will once again be labeled a senior. 
Yes, a word of caution here. What you are about to see may be disturbing, but do you see yourself and are you thinking, that can't be accurate? Well, your skin is too big for your body. Your hair is gray or white or missing. You injure yourself trying to get into shape. You refer to your knees and shoulders as the good and the bad ones instead of the right and the left. Your mind is like an internet browser. You have at least 19 open tabs, three of them are frozen, and you have no clue where the music is coming from. What the heck happened between the wonder years and the golden years? You know those tests you worried so much about? The STAR, SAT, ACT, EOC, LMNOP, they were nothing. In horse racing terms, those are brush track wins, mock tests for the big race in life. Let's take a peek into your life 60 years from now when you've been put out to pasture. How did you run the race marked out just for you? Did you use your unique gifts and talents to serve others, or did you leave them packed up, cheating humanity of the good you had to offer? Did you humbly go about your work, always doing your best, or did you only perform well when others were watching or when a reward was attached? Did you face your fears with dauntless courage, or did you run the other direction and miss the chance to be what you were meant to be? Did you give your time, money, and energy to help others, or did you ferret it away and squander it on things that never mattered in life? Did you heed the words of the wise, or did you listen to the idiotic ramblings of fools? Did you forgive those who trespassed against you, or did you seek revenge out of anger or pride? Did you work to keep the peace, or did you stir dissension wherever you went? Did you comfort those who were suffering, or did you ignore them, or worse, did you pile on? Did you go at life asking why, what if, and how, with the intent of pursuing truth with integrity in all things? Or did you accept the status quo and fail to live a life of significance? Did you find that people were happy to see you, or just happy to see you go? Okay, shake it off. Let's return to the present where you're still in the gate anxious for the sound of the bell that will launch you onto a track where the odds will be stacked against you. On May 7th of this year, history was made in the horse racing world when a little chestnut colt, appropriately named Rich Strike, came from behind and won the Kentucky Derby. He was not the favorite. He was the never should that not only could, but did. He was the 80 to one long shot who came from behind to win the race for the roses. This incredible upset was not a fluke. It was the result of hours upon hours of training, practice and hard work on the parts of the owner, the jockey, the handler and the horse. But there was something else at work, something that lives in rich strike and in you. Take out your hands. They're right there on your, yeah, at the end of your arm, that's right. Look deeply into your palm, past the calluses, the scars, and the pigment, and into the minutia of your cells. Can you see your DNA? Therein lies the truth of whence you came. Therein lies the history of the world, accurately written by an invisible hand, an invisible jockey, if you will. You can't imagine the outcome of the races run by those who came before you, and you can't change them. But you can certainly use what they learned to run yours. Abraham Lincoln, one of the most famous long shots, put it this way. I don't know who my grandfather was. I'm much more concerned to know what his grandson will be. Matthew McConaughey, Texas actor, who struggled for years before he finally won the race for the Oscar, said this. Life's not easy. Don't try and make it that way. It's not fair. It never was. It isn't now. It won't ever be. 
Do not fall into the entitlement trap of feeling you are a victim. You are not. Get over it and get on with it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. I don't know about you, but I think that deserves an all right, all right, all right. <laughs> and what did our own Flower Bluff head softball coach Aspen Auger say about her team after the 5-3 come from behind victory over San Antonio McCollum last Friday? She said, we've had so many pressure situations every practice and they just capitalize on it. This game was a perfect example of that. Go Lady Hornets. In the race of life, you will more often than not find yourself behind the rest of the pack. You will spend a lot of time on brush tracks where you may win place, show, lose, or even get scratched. Use all these experiences to hone your skills. You never know when you might get a shot at the Kentucky Derby. And remember this, finding the sweet spot on the track where the right path becomes clear requires that you have faith in more than your own strength, knowledge, and abilities. That invisible jockey provides every tool you need to build a life worth living if you're willing to work hard and trust him with the reins. Graduates, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I congratulate you on successfully completing this leg of your educational journey. May your lives be long and your successes many. May you learn and grow from your trials and your tribulations. May you always show gratitude even for the smallest of kindnesses. May you love and be loved. May your light shine as an inspiration to others. May you live good and complete lives in search of truth and purpose. May God bless your races, and may you experience a long shot victory along the way. Congratulations. Please welcome Katherine Cutberth and Kylie Hutchinson for the class farewell. As we near the end of the class of 2022 graduation ceremony, we students are getting quite familiar with saying farewell to all things high school. We have said goodbye to many beloved teachers, close friends, and irreplaceable coaches. Well, except I'll see you in a bit, mom and dad. We have said so long to our sophomore year fires and power outages. That personally was not a difficult one to bid farewell. We have said bye-bye to the freshmen who thought sealing a whole paper towel dispenser was a good idea, and that posting it on TikTok was an even better idea. We have gladly said adieu to online learning and our internet issues. I promise my camera and microphone were really broken. And we have said adios to Crenshaw's iconic, if you see something or hear something. Yeah. <laughs> Over the past four years, we have learned in spite of the challenges. Though high school is typically supposed to be tough with difficult classes and lots of homework, try adding a pandemic at the end of your sophomore year. Oh, and a hurricane and week-long freeze. I mean, come on, it can't get any worse, can it? I, for one, know that our high school taught me to always bring everything remotely important with me when a fire alarm goes off. Because even though we may have already had three fires that year, there's still a decent chance it may not be a drill. We have learned how to solve quadratic equations, write persuasive essays, and that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. And to always dress like it's 50 degrees outside, because even though it's the end of May, inside of the school, it's the middle of December. All jokes aside, we appreciate everything the Flower Bluff High School teachers and staff have taught us. And as we say goodbye, we have to realize that these farewells are just opportunities to say hello. We say hello to being Flower Bluff High School alumni. Hello to everything the future brings, whether it is a new career, college, trade school, or the military. Hello to new experiences, hopefully properly functioning AC units, and new friends. But there are some things we just can't say goodbye to forever. Our teachers, our friends, our memories. We hold them close to our hearts as we move on to the next chapter of our lives. Thank you.
Kelly Doble will now lead us in the tassel ceremony. Class of 2022, our graduation ceremony is a brief moment in our lives, but the memory of our time here at Flower Bluff High School will last forever. In a few seconds, we will count to three. The senior class of 2022 should boldly say hornets, then move their tassel to the left. Ready? One, two, three. Hornets! <laughs> the benediction will be given by Daniel Santos. Thanks, guys. Parents, students, and everyone supporting the class of 2022 on this special day, please indulge me as I'd like to give this benediction first in English and then in Spanish, because I know the strength that it takes to fight against a language barrier. I'd like to commend those of you who have shown up on this important day for your children, grandchildren, nephews, and nieces, despite this struggle, so that we may all join together in love and celebration for this remarkable achievement. Bear in mind, my Spanish isn't as good as Andreas. <laughs> Padres, estudiantes, y todos los que nos acompañan a apoyar a la clase del 2022 en este día tan especial. Disculpen mi acento, pero me gustaría dar la bendición en los dos idiomas. Primero, en inglés, y después, en español. Porque conozco lo que, lo, lo que se requiere para sobresalir las barreras del idioma. Me gustaría dar las gracias a todos ustedes que se han presentado en esta ocasión tan importante para sus hijos, nietos y sobrinos, a pesar de todas las dificultades. Que nos unamos todos en amor y celebración de este notable logro. I'd like to share from the book of James, chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith, produ faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Gustaría compartir del libro de Santiago, capítulo 1, versos 2 hasta 4. Tengan por sumo gozo, hermanos míos, cuando se hallan en diversas pruebas, sabiendo que la prueba de su fe produce paciencia, y que la paciencia tenga su perfecto resultado para que sean perfectos y completos sin que nada les falte. With these words in mind and with blessings upon us, let's go forth into the world and encounter all the success and the happiness that the Lord has planned for us. Con estas palabras en mente y estas bendiciones sobre nosotros, salgamos a encontrar todo el éxito y la felicidad que el Señor tiene planeado para cada uno de nosotros. Gracias. Graduates, please stand and join us in the alma mater.
of 2022, you are dismissed.